So let's address the elephant in the room. Starting a new life in a new country is a scary experience, and it's one of the reasons why most people don't ever take the plunge. I mean, you can't see the future. What if it's not what you expected? What if you run out of money? Or what if you're in an unsafe position? These fears are completely understandable and logical, but with every problem comes a solution. 99% of travels are trouble free. You will always have options to make more money and if you're coming to Asia, traveling from country to country is super easy. There are always risks to travel. But as Mr. Kiyosaki once said, the biggest risk a person can take is to do nothing. So how to start a new life in a new country? Well, the very first step is deciding where you want to go. You could be flexible on this and just say, I want to go to a country country and travel around. On the other hand, if you are somebody who wishes to settle, it's best to choose a specific location such as a city and from there you can investigate the neighbourhoods and the facilities to see if it matches up with your lifestyle. The legal requirements are the next stage when starting a new life in a new country. More specifically, the visas. Here on this channel we speak about Southeast Asia and the visa situation in Asia is fairly flexible in most countries. If you're not at retirement age or can't get a retirement visa, it's easy to pick up a student visa or an investment visa in most cases. Alternatively, some find long-term tourist visas that can be extended until they can find something more concrete. The next stage is the most challenging for those who wish to start a new life in a new country, and that is on the topic of money. How are you going to be supporting yourself? So some countries have financial requirements for certain types of visas. For example, in Indonesia, if retirees wish to apply for a retirement visa, applicants need to prove that they have the financial capacity of 18,000 US dollars a year from a pension or other means. The great thing about the modern world is that there are now more ways to make money than ever, but it requires dedicated research and careful strategy. For example, some expats live comfortably on the income that they earn from YouTube ads. So at this point, you will have completed the research, have the legal stuff taken care of and have a process for financial income. The final stage is the checklist. This checklist is made up of actionable steps. This can include booking a flight, selling your items or obtaining relevant travel injections. For most of us, we need a sense of purpose. This can be a hobby or even becoming a volunteer. We also need connections with others, so building a network of friends is essential. But one of the most important things that I often mention is that when you start a new life in a new country, it's often very wise to leave your mindset behind. Your mindset includes your belief system and your way of life. When you are in a new country, you will potentially have to do things that you haven't done in a very long time. This could include talking to strangers or getting involved in the local community. For some of us, if we have lived a certain lifestyle, this is very difficult to do. But if you can break the mold, you will find that you are set on a new journey in life. You will find plenty of opportunity every day when moving to a new country. But the question is, will you accept these opportunities or will you let them pass?